Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our other Elementor videos and somebody was asking how you overlap columns. Well, you don't really overlap columns, but you can overlap the content within those columns like we've done here. We've got these images sort of spilling into the section above. And it's really easy to do and I'll show you how. So I've got this page open with Elementor here. What I'll do is I'll get rid of the section that we've got in here. And we'll start again. I'll add a new section in between these. I've just got two sections here representing two sections of a website. And I've just added another one in between here. I'm going to add an image. You can do this with any module. I'm just using images for example. I'm going to pop the image in there. I'm going to add two more columns that image is a bit too large I mean you can do it with a single image if you want to but let's add a new column and same again and let's pop an image in here and what I'm going to do is go into this image and I'm going to give it a negative margin on the top and that will pull it up I think I'll reduce the amount of padding here so it's a bit crazy so I'm going to go into the section see what we've got here there's nothing in there at the moment I'm going to uncheck the chain just say give it 50 top and bottom if you leave the chain checked it does all four at once which wouldn't matter in this case but if I'm just doing the top and bottom I do it like that so that's made it a little bit shorter so we can flip this one up now so let's go back into the actual image or whatever module you put in there Go over to your advance again we'll uncheck the little chain we're on margin here i'm going to de go down so we've got a negative value there i'm just going to pop in whatever negative value you want so i've popped it up by 200 there now i'm just going to simply duplicate this drag it across doesn't matter which one you drag across they're absolutely identical same again and just change the image in each of these very simple little short video this is going to be there we go we've now got those overlapping that column there and you can add some more below if you want to go back to our matrix here let's grab another image drop it in below here we'll choose another image then if you wanted to you could offset it down below again go into margin this time we'll use the bottom as it's gone behind there we can change the Z index down below bring it up to a higher number so it jumps on top of our little section below there there we go and then just rinse and repeat drag it over just like we did here change the image and one more time And there you have it you've got six images now and the top ones are overlapping the top section and the bottom ones are overlapping the bottom section the only thing i would say you want to check this on responsive devices like tablets and mobile if we go back into our advanced if we hover over the little desktop looking icon there we can choose to look at it on a tablet that's okay on the tablet and look at it on a, a cell phone for the cell phone they're kind of overlapped on each other so you may decide that on a cell phone you might want to have a zero margin so we'll start at the bottom and I'm going to keep the chain linked and we'll do all four at once do the next one up
and as you can see that's made them work perfectly on the mobile there but if we change back I won't do the other three I'm sure you get the idea change back to desktop we still got them nicely overlapped on the desktop so let's update and take a look and there we go we've got three sections there and our images or our columns are overlapping the sections there like I say it's not actually the columns that are doing it it's just the content within so I hope that's answered your question I hope you found this useful today if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.